Uh, hello, uh, good, good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, Jeff, usually uh, Chinese or Taiwanese have an English name. My name is Jeff because my English teacher gave me the Jeff, the name. Yeah, so it's easy to communicate with uh, Western people. So, so yeah, so I, I name just uh, say, uh, Jeff. Okay, uh, it is the uh, first time to introduce a uh, Chinese fund uh, in English, so it's not so easy uh, to, uh, to me. So, yeah, I try my best. Uh, if you have any question, uh, just uh, uh, give me the feedback. Okay? Yeah, so uh, today I just uh, to introduce our experience and uh, our our uh, development uh, the Chinese fund for responsive design. And uh, I just uh, introduced our uh, company. I uh, work for Africa uh, already 27 years. Uh, Africa is a Taiwanese company established uh, in 1990 and located at uh, New Taipei City. And uh, three years ago, we set up a, a Shanghai branch. And today, my topic will uh, ha uh, have a sixth topic to speak out. And the first one is uh, introduce the design and the reading of Chinese uh, typeface. You can see this is an uh, Asian Chinese character. This character is zi, means child, like a baby or princess. Yeah, not zi. This character uh, is very simple. And uh, the upper part, the left, the left most one is the Oracle Bone script. It's the early. Uh, earliest uh, uh, formal uh, Chinese character is around uh, 3,800 uh, 3, years ago. And then uh, to the button is the most popular uh, writing skip, uh, script currently. And uh, there was developed around uh, uh, 8,000 and uh, uh, 8,000, uh, 1,800 years ago. And uh, that, this one is clerical script. Uh, Chinese pronunciation is Li uh, Su. It's more official in uh, uh, that, that area, uh, that uh, era. And uh, the middle one is uh, called Xing Su semi cursive script. And then the rightmost one is the center script. We call it the Kai Su. Yeah, these three kinds of script is very popular currently uh, in chi Chinese area. And uh, the, this sample is a uh, uh, wooden Brock printing in uh, 88, uh, 1162. The, uh, this is on uh, Song Dynasty, in Song Dynasty. Yeah. And uh, this sample is one kind of standard script or regular script, Kai Su. It's a wooden printing in the Song Dynasty of Chinese history. This one uh, is in 16th century. You can see the horizontal stroke uh, near the, the label and the more straight. Uh, this typeface, is, we call it uh, Fang Song. Fang Song Fang Song means uh, imitation, 
Song script, a uh, Song dynasty, yeah. And the uh, nurse, uh, vertical script, uh, vertical stroke, more straight compared to the Kai Su. And uh, by the late uh, Ming period, mature Ming typeface has been developed, so, so that engraving printing became more efficient and uh, more readable, which is conductive to knowledge dissemination. Yeah, you can see it's more unified. So uh, this printing is a... Uh, around 1589. And this one is uh, by the 18th century, the early Qing dynasty. More clear and mature Ming Ti were developed. These mature prints are accomplished by a prosperous printer printing industry is which contrib contributed to cultural development. So uh, Bing Ti uh, is very popular right now. And uh, until, uh, 1858, American uh, priest uh, Zhang Bailey hosted the U.S. China Printing Library which is the first commercial company to, to produce metal Chinese movable type on a mass scale. From the top to the bottom, the, the top is uh, 24 point size, and the bottom one is 8 point size. So uh, this is a uh, uh, going to the digital type uh, era. The demand of personal computers start, started uh, increasing in Taiwan since 1980. Until 1990, desktop publishing has been gradually used in the typesetting industry. Because of that, many companies began to develop digitalized Chinese funds. The Africa is one of them. We established in 1990, we created the various typeface to meet the printing industry need. In, in that time, uh, in Taiwan, may more than 10 fund vendors, but right now, only two fund vendors because the fund uh, business in Taiwan is very small, cannot support uh, many fund vendors. And uh, uh, later on, we just try to develop a, a responsive uh, fund because a uh, uh, flashing of mobile device and high-resolution screens come out. And the digital reading replaced the reading on paper. So newspaper already uh, going down in Taiwan. I, I think in, in U.S. is the same. And Sensory typefaces become mainstream. So, in the pap paper, uh, the content in paper area uh, using the uh, song tea, but uh, right now for the digital read uh, reading, always use a uh, uh, hey is like the Gothic. And the Gothic have uh, this kind of uh, uh, characteristics. The, the types could be recognized from, uh, from the distance. And the vertical and the horizontal stroke remain vertical, uh, straight, straight, and suitable to display on screen. 
thicker horizontal strokes is good for screen of different resolution. So in that time, uh, we developed uh, this global font, we call it the Jing Xi uh, Have a CJK, that, uh, Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese, uh, uh, simplified Chinese, and uh, Japanese, even the complex script like uh, Devanagari or uh, Arabic and the Hebrew. And then the English, uh, the, the Latin, Latin character is uh, redesigned by Fund Bureau, uh, thanks to uh, David Barrow. And then the complex script uh, designed by uh, local designer. So uh, we announced the Najing Xie around uh, 2013. And later on, after, uh, one year later, the source hand, Adobe and Google uh, announced their, uh, released their uh, source hand sense. And uh, after that, uh, 2015, Apple announced the uh, ping, ping Fang. Yeah, the same idea. Uh, may, uh, many uh, wait for the screen dis uh, uh, digital reading. So, the second topic I uh, try to uh, introduce our responsive uh, typeface, the, the orange. Since we started making the embedded system found in 2000, we had to face many problems to display our font on the screen perfectly. As you know, the embedded system, like a multifunction printer or uh, for the industry, main uh, HDMI, uh, HMI, Hue Machine Interface, they are very concerned uh, speed, the data volume, because Chinese character is too, too many characters, so the data volume is too huge. So we have to we we have to reduce the data volume, the file size, and uh, the quality. Quality because the screen is the low resolution, so we have to tune uh, our font to fit the low resolution screen. So in in that uh, that time. We often need to spend a lot of time to adjust our design in order to provide the best products for each different device. Especially, there are a very large number of Chinese characters and the Japanese characters, which require more people to edit or even make new design. Therefore, 2010, we entered to the research and the development of the responsive font technology and the design. Our goal is to build the variable font in technology as our in-house font creator, so we can quickly produce proper font for con consumer uh, customer in order to reduce the cost. Yeah, just, you, just you, you see the screen, the low resolution uh, jacket, and uh, the, the high resolution is more beautiful. So, uh, this time, the, the resolution of device is getting higher and higher. So, we want to try, uh, try to design the new typeface. And uh, uh, we, we should consider the environment, like ambient light. And uh, the men, like uh, elder people or uh, near-sighted people, yeah, 
the, we have designed uh, maybe you, we call it uh, UD font, universal design font, and uh, the machine characteristic. The design and the use of African response design. So in that time, the uh, re responsive design is uh, 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 is a wave response wave font. Like uh, to uh, the the web page should shoot uh, to reflow be, uh, the narrow screen or wider screen. And uh, the long text reading is very important for uh, for font display. And the global globalized typeface. The left side uh, is one company that in there have many uh, different uh, uh, language. Their menu have a very uh, very very different language, but uh, not uh, consistent. So we try to develop a, a more consistent global font to meet their requirement. So our Jing Zihe tried to make uh, nine different weight and to consider uh, different resolution in uh, diverse, uh, diverse uh, devices. And uh, to consider uh, you, your view, viewing distance. And uh, consider the ambient light. And the uh, just different ambient light make a uh, uh, foreground and uh, background contrast is uh, different. So it's better way to use the different weight that is uh, more readable, uh, legible. And this is a real example in Taiwan. This is a car navigator. The depth one, the car navigator, uh, the highlight in the lower part is highlight. They use the same weight. When it highlight, the character is not uh, so easy to recognize. So the better way is when you highlight, the weight should be changed because uh, it's easy to recognize. And uh, th this is another uh, application is uh, Google Map. Because the text, text bar, uh, rectangle is uh, uh, fixed, so the Chinese character should be uh, condensed. Usually, condensed Chinese character is not uh, so popular in, in, in Taiwan in, or, or, or China. So uh, you, in this case, if you just use a mathematical method to condense, the, 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 the vertical stock should uh, have thinning. So we have redesigned. And uh, based on this concept, uh, we uh, de design Fang uh, Jing Xi He and uh, the whole family. And, uh, in that time, 20, uh, 2013, no variable font, no, no open type uh, uh, variation font. So we try to, uh, try to develop a font engine to render our, our proprietary font format. We call it Infinity Font. So we developed Infinity Font engine and uh, uh, convert our font uh, very compact to a fun file and the porting our engine to Android system try to prove the, uh, try to uh, sell this this concept and uh, this this application to modif uh, mobile phone company and uh, this is the result is uh, when we develop a uh, Jing Zihe, 
uh, with uh, for GB one eight zero three zero. It's around uh, thirty thousand characters. So the size for the two type maybe around uh, uh, one hundred and uh, uh, one hundred sixty. Uh, 160 megabyte, 20 typefaces. But uh, we, we compact uh, th those in Infinity Fund, uh, maybe around uh, 15 megabyte. So it's, it's uh, reduced the font size to around uh, under 10%. Under so this concept. Uh, you can see uh, we have a video to introduce technology it. Change the way people in the habit of reading. Paper is being replaced by screens. And reading is no longer limited to a static style. It's full of contentious interactions. There are some performance limitations of the LCD screen, display resolution, viewing distance, angle, and ambient light have become the key factor readability. Whether indoor or outdoor, when sudden changes in ambient lighting will cause human eye not response on time, or to keep up with the changes that have resulted in eye fatigue and makes readers feel uncomfortable. When driving a car, it could be dangerous if the eyes take long time to stare at the screen. That is motivation why Arfic developed such innovative Infinity Font. Arfic Infinity Font is an innovative technology with powerful font engine. It introduces a new way to generate automatically several hundreds fonts including various strokes, weights, and widths. Just one setting, you can make fonts with different languages shown in the same weight. As a result, electronic devices could be displayed in real time according to the demand of environment, such as reading distance, ambient light, display resolution, to display responsibly for best legibility. Moreover, Infinity Font can also be easily adjusted for Latin fonts to do weight, size, and style matchings. Developed by the Arfic based on the Infinity Font technology, UD Global Font was awarded the Good Design Best 100 in Japan. It makes reading more easier without the burden. Okay, this video uh, was produced uh, in uh, 2014. And this concept, uh, many uh, mobile phone company is very interested, but uh, the ones, but uh, they consider our phone format and the engine is proprietary, not uh, uh, um, like uh, open source or, or, or a standard. So this concept is good, but uh, nobody use it. Okay, uh, just, uh, it's just the uh, uh, proof of concept. Okay, so this is our uh, schedule from uh, 2010 to develop the Jing CA, and uh, 2013 we got the uh, uh, Japan's Good Design Award, the best 100. And later on, we uh, develop the another typeface. One is called Fang Xin Shu, the other is uh, uh, Su Yuan Song. Uh, I just uh, uh, brief in 
our three uh, typefaces. Those uh, is a family, uh, very very like a variable font. Yeah. For Jing Xi uh, have a three desi uh, design space. The one is the as usual is a weight axis. The other axis is uh, width. More commonly is to design a Chinese font, these two uh, design space. And the, the other is optical size. Uh, this is uh, optical size, this is display. And this is uh, for text. You can see for text, we, we have to uh, narrow down the Chinese character. More, more space in between characters, easy, uh, easy to read, recognize, okay. So you can see the right side is text and the left side for the display, so for the large character size, uh, that's point size. And the other one is Fang Xin Shu. Yeah, as you know, uh, for Chinese character is uh, for a full set is uh, very huge. Uh, I just et estimate one typeface to design for Chinese character for Taiwan, Jap uh, mainland China, and the Japan. It's around uh, forty-five thousand. Chinese characters. So if one design space, five typefaces, is around uh, maybe uh, 20, uh, 225 characters. If we design the three design space, it's more than one million Chinese characters. So it's, it's very huge effort for one fun family, one typeface family. So we try to uh, de develop a, a, a technology, try to replace some component and uh, can build another typeface to save the effort. So Fan Xin Su is this kind of concept. We try to replace the stroke. The design is different. You can see the stroke in the end is thinner. The Fang Xin Su and the original one, the end is uh, bolder. So we try to uh, redesign the stroke and uh, to make uh, another typeface and another feeding. But uh, this, uh, this concept and uh, the, this engineer uh, thinking, we, you can see in the upper part, the Jing is uh, like this. Just if, if, if we just uh, replace the stroke only, the structure of each character uh, have no balance. So finally, we have to re retune each, each stock and uh, that they more balance. You, so you can see in the original Jing Xi He in the uh, outline background, and uh, the Fang Xin Shu, the black back, uh, foreground. So you can see a little different. In, in that case, each character has to be de 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 defined, uh, retuned. So initially, we think we, can, we may take uh, 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 maybe one-fourth effort to design Fang Xin Shu. But lastly, we take uh, almost the same effort 
to decide Fang Xinshu because every character have to be re, uh, have to be tuned. So Fang Xinshu currently is also three design dime, uh, design space as the Jing Xihe. And the, the newest one is uh, Su Yuan Song. Su Yuan Song, yeah, uh, a few days ago, Adobe and Google just uh, announced their new uh, source, source hand serif, like Su Yuan Song. Uh, Adobe source, uh, source hand sense. When they, uh, when they announced and uh, released to the market, hit uh, Taiwan, China, and the Japan's market uh, very, very huge uh, to damage in the market. It, so our business, of, uh, by that uh, uh, effect, uh, so not only Arabic, the China fund company also say their, their business be damaged by the source hand sense. So the new typeface uh, source hand serif released uh, these, these days in China's and uh, Taiwan's uh, uh, market. Uh, Many, many people just uh, discuss it, and uh, uh, we, we, we should face it to, to um, try to uh, avoid uh, the, the impact. So our Fang Xinshu also have three design space. The one is weight is uh, very common. And uh, the other is, an, uh, we call it uh, horizontal stand width. It's one kind of contrast. The horizontal stand from thin to, to thick have different uh, application. For the thin one, it's suitable to print on the paper. For the heavy one, suitable for the uh, display. So you can see uh, the animation is uh, to change. This one is changing the weight. For the song, for the song tea, when the weight is changed, the uh, vertical stroke and uh, the slow, uh, slender stroke have changed, but the horizontal one is the same, same thick. And this, uh, this one is to show the text and the display. So you can see for the text, the, the end is more, more uh, thick, and the, the display should be uh, more thin, so the right the the display design when when it uh, display the, the large size is more elegant, and you can see the terminal, the the horizontal terminal is different. The display, uh, when it display uh, typeface is more small. It's smaller, yeah. So uh, we also design the Latin character. It's um, more harmonized the Chinese. So you, you can see the, the end, uh, the terminal of the horizontal stroke. Because our terminal is different uh, uh, to other song tea, 
Most the Song Chi the terminal all, almost use the straight line. Easy to design. But uh, we just uh, get the concept from Kai Su, regular script, Kai Su is uh, from the top from the top to the bottom having a curve. It's more soft, more human humanity humanity. And uh, just I say when the uh, weight is changed, the, the vertical stroke change, but the horizontal is the same. But uh, when the weight change, the terminal should be larger. So uh, in the fourth section, I just uh, demo our fun tool, how to develop this kind of Chinese character. This is the process to design a, a whole family. First shows the characters of Shu Yuan Song from GB2312 simplified Chinese character set. The stem width of horizontal strokes of these characters are 32. Fun weight is heavy. We choose the character Xia to demonstrate the process we create fonts. Arvik has its own font creating tool and engine and a unique font creating process. First, we could use a font master or use the existing data to create new fonts. According to the features of different Chinese typefaces, we create Chinese fonts with strokes. Let's start from the strokes. After classifying strokes, we digitalize the modules using Arfix Graphic Design Language Maker. You could call it GDL Maker. To set up movable control points and widths to draw a stroke. This stroke is from the character Dong, which the designer has done in the very beginning for being a shared stroke module. This is the stroke module after being digitalized in a font creating system. We use the stroke module to create new fonts. Shu Yun Song has 785 stroke modules, and we can use the stroke modules to create almost 30,000 Chinese characters. So we use the structural point. Next, we use the character Xia to demonstrate how we create fonts. You can see a sample of character Xia in the up left corner for designers to follow how it should be composed. So the designers could choose a proper stroke from the modules to draw and compose strokes. The red cross we call it a structure point. We it uh, determine the position and the, the then of we will create a different character xia. We could use the character xia, which we have just done in the previous step to adjust the structure and change strokes. Using the radical an, which we have done and saved in the up left corner to compose and adjust space, gravity, and structure. After the character Xia is done, we could lay out with other characters to check the quality. Setting the sizes in the menu to check the balance of Xia and Xia in both radical and horizontal sentences. Based on the font of heavyweight, Horizontal stroke stem width of 32. 
We could set up parameters to change the stem width of horizontal strokes in a font creating tool to create fonts with different stem width of horizontal strokes. The outline of fonts. The parameters of horizontal stroke stem width of these four fonts are 16, 32, 46, and 62. The outlines which show the different stem widths of horizontal strokes. Stem widths of horizontal strokes of the four fonts changes. You can see it in the screen below. It shows stem widths of horizontal strokes of 16, 32, 46, and 64. Four true type fonts with different horizontal stroke stem widths. We have done the font of heavy weight. We can use the heavy weight to create medium weight. Based on heavy weight, stem width of horizontal strokes 32. To set up the parameters of vertical and diagonal strokes, then we could preview the fonts of medium weight with horizontal strokes stem width 32. Below shows fonts of medium weight. Designers could also see it on smooth curves and unbalanced structures caused from the process of transforming heavy to medium. When transforming fonts from heavy weight to medium, we will adjust the shape of strokes and the structure of characters. This is the adjust of outline curves of medium weight stroke module. After fixing the stroke module, we could go back to the font creating tool to adjust structures and gravities. Using heavy weight characters as samples to adjust medium weight characters. We have done the heavy and medium weight. Then we could interpolate weights of demi bold, bold, extra bold in between. This is the demonstration of two dimensions of Arvik variable font Shu Yuan Song. The interpolation just uh, uh, each soccer maybe two structure point and uh, maybe one or two no, no, width, stem width. So it's easy to interpret. Okay, so this is our uh, design tool to develop a, a whole family, uh, three design space. Uh, just I said, uh, the interpolation is not a point to point, it's a stroke to stroke. So it's easy to modify uh, stroke, and the stroke around the, just the, the beginning set, a typeface like a, a Jing Xi He is maybe uh, 400 strokes, but the Su Yuan Song may be 785 strokes. And we just, uh, to handle those strokes, whole uh, typeface will, will be changed. Yeah, this, this is our method. So, uh, we try to convert our uh, infinity font to open type of variation font. We got this uh, number. Yeah, so you can see our infinity font maybe around uh, maybe around 14, or 14 megabyte uh, for the uh, variation font around 15 megabyte. So this is a five weight plus four width. So we use this uh, variation font uh, to display on the uh, uh, font view and uh, and uh, access uh, places. So the, this demo is the uh, try to fix the text box. 
and uh, when the uh, when the box is uh, narrow, so the character should be uh, taller. And this is this sample is show our Su and so. We this is our two dimensional design space. The orange part is suitable for a common use. And for for the arrow part is suitable for e reader because their horizontal stand is more thin more, more thicker. And then the green green part is suitable for display. Display means uh, large size. So the horizontal stand uh, must must thinner. So this is a uh, combination uh, of the very, very uh, different uh, uh, two uh, two design space to demo the change. Okay, so. This is the, the conclusion, uh, or, or not the conclusion, it's a future perspective. So I think it's good at um, uh, design and the creative Chinese characters. Designer, our, uh, we have a very talented designer for Chinese character. And uh, we d develop our design tool. And we, uh, Try to uh, search in a pattern to cooperate with the Western Fund Foundry. Yeah. So as I showed, um, we have the technology and we have the tool and we have the fund. But uh, if we use our own proprietary format or a proprietary engine, it's not easy to sell. So I think it's looking forward. The open type fun variation because in that case we can put our solution, our product to the market. Thank you. <laughs>